Hey guys, now that we've checked out the contents of the Peachy Printer kit, I figured we'd go ahead and build it. Uh, unbelievably, after you pack everything back into the box that you don't need, uh, this is all you need. All that you see here is what you need for a 3D printer. Uh, the red bag, the armatures, the magnets and stuff, circuit board, coils, uh, super glue, razor blade, uh, the plate and the jumpers, it, and, and that's it. I, I can't even believe that, that this is it, but let's get to it and uh, let's start building. So go ahead and clear everything away and uh, go ahead and pull out armature. We're also going to need the aluminum damper dampeners out of this bag, so grab those too. Once you've got your armatures out and your uh, aluminum dampener, go ahead and test which ones they fit in nicely. This one seems like a pretty good fit. Maybe a little too snug though. I'll try one of these ones up top. No, I think that one's even better, but better try the bottom one too. What I'm looking for is any deformation of the plastic. That actually seems maybe the best. Maybe just a tiny bit too loose. Not sure exactly, but I'd say we'd probably be safe with either one. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use these ones. Got to pull them off this, but better grab it up at the top. Don't want it to rip. Alright, there we go. Now, we're going to need the little magnets, which are terrible for getting lost so just remember be super careful once you've got your four magnets split it into two stacks of two and grab a set with the provided magnet uh, tweezers split them apart with your thumbnail which is a bit tricky if you have hands as big as mine with magnets as small as these but Still very doable. Okay, then you grab your armature and you line up the magnets with the little four, uh, there's four little dots on this side, on the opposite side of where the mirrors go. That's where the mirror goes. And this is where this goes, and there's a little marking there that's probably pretty hard to see, especially now that the magnet's on it. But anyway, you get the point. Uh, then, hit it with a little tiny dab of super glue, which will take off a little bit of the uh, orange color, but it doesn't affect the structural integrity as far as I can tell. So, let that dry out. And do the other one as I have, and uh, we'll get started on the next step. While you're waiting for the glue to dry, uh, grab the red bag, pull the elastic thread out, and clip off two pieces, 150 millimeters, six inches, or just measure one of your armatures three times. Once the glue has dried, thread the elastic thread through the armature and I will try the best I can to get this on film. Tying these knots is not easy, but it's not too hard. So, And with the amount we've cut, it shouldn't be too bad. But I remember from the beta that this was kind of a pain in the butt. This time seems to be going smoothly. There we go. Four knots on that side then take the thread the other end thread it through the armature and 
don't pull it tight because you still need to tie more knots but at the end of the knot tying you want to have the thread about as long as the armature. You don't want it shorter than the armature by much because you don't want it to bend the armature. You don't want it too much longer or you won't have good tension. So tie the first knot and pull it approximately the place you want it to be which is about like that I think. Grab the thread again and start tying some more knots. Ah, see I've pulled it too long again and too short and all kinds of crazy things but I shall persevere. Oh dear, I've knocked my aluminum dampener out. This is tricky, it's like tying a balloon. That is about right. So, in my case I need to put my dampener back in and trim off the thread ends and that one's set. So do that to both and we'll move on. Alright, now that the laser armatures are done we get to break apart this plastic which looks like it's going to be awesome. Yeah, that is super, super fun. Alright, so that's scanner parts, I think. This is dripper stuff, I'm pretty sure. We'll grab it back. All we really need at the moment is our mirror frames. So, break both of these guys off the sprue. And once you got both of those broken off, you can grab an armature and put it on the frame. I think you're supposed to put the plastic on the shiny side of the ABS as opposed to the rough side of the ABS. Put the thread right in the grooves. There we go. And then you grab the back side of it, and there are some grooves on the side. You run those through as well, and that's done. Do it to the other one. Grab these pieces off the frame and stack them on top of each other and grab two of the four large magnets provided and line them up about like that so they're facing this hole that it's going to go into and grab a razor blade and lightly score the top in a straight line then you can break these apart and that's actually pretty tough but you can uh, stick them in the other side and make sure that the score is nice and straight uh, you can't see it on mine it's just a little too faint uh, maybe not but anyway you can line it up and so you got this nice magnetic field there next grab the circuit and this piece and stick this piece onto the laser uh, where you stick the laser there and you put the screw through and tighten down the nut. 
and this is a pretty low stress application for a machine screw so you probably do not need any extra tightening equipment there you go all set take the t-frame off the sprue and put it on a circuit board or the circuit board on the t-frame if you prefer then grab one of these you're going to want to insert it so the laser hits where we're going to put the mirror just like that grab one of your magnet frames and slide it so the flat side is on the shiny side of the ABS of the mirror assembly here and it's a very tight fit which is good because we don't want it to slide off there we go work it past your magnets and get it lined up with the aluminum dampener take your other mirror assembly and slide it through the magnet dampener here line it up approximately with the aluminum dampener and grab this piece insert it from the rough side so the shiny side of this piece is towards where the mirror is going to go there we go like that grab these guys and get ready to do the mirrors pull a couple out of the bag and uh, you're gonna this one obviously needs to go on this face but sometimes you're gonna need to spin this around a little bit to make sure that the magnets are all lined up and stuff so make sure it's sitting like that mine had to be spun around once and uh, stick the mirror on and peel off the protective coating one way to make that really easy is if you peel off the back uh, sticky coating and a little bit of the coating down here on the thin part of the mirror then even if you fingerprint or scratch the thin part it doesn't really matter because this is the part of the magnet that we actually need pull off the sticky back make sure that this is sitting nice which it is and put a mag uh, mirror on the armature then you can peel off the coating don't press it on too hard you make it a little easier for yourself and there you go mine's a little off center take time make it perfect but that'll make it easy just make sure that you've got both layers there are two layers, a blue one and a clear one. It's way too hard to show, but just make sure you got both. Once you have the protective coating off the mirrors, insert the second mirror frame here on the T-frame. And insert, all the while being careful not to fingerprint either of the mirrors from now on. Insert all four, uh, I think these are called magnetic dampening rods into the structure all four then put the coil in with the shiny side facing the magnet obviously and inserted on the shiny side of the ABS it's getting a little tight in there but you can fit it all just like that put the coil on the other side we're ready to go. Grab two pairs of jumpers, these three legs, and the support for the circuit board. Using one of the legs, make sure that this magnet, or these magnets on the mirror frame, on the armature itself, are right in the middle of the coil. Do that on both, and insert the 
jumpers onto the coils. Now, the wire that's closest to the edge of your frame is going to be one, the one closest to the center of the circuit board. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So, purple in my case being closer to the end of the frame. Purple goes on the inside and gray goes on the outside. As you can see I've got the same thing here with this one. End of the frame, blue wire, green wire on the outside, blue wire on the inside. Then finally we're gonna take the support, line it up with the USB power and slide it on. Bit stiff, but supposed to be. A little more. There we are. And then you poke this thing onto the USB power. That's a bit tricky to do that. There we go. There we go. That's really nice and solid. Sorry for the cam shake there. All right, now all we need to do is add the legs. And I'm not 100% I'm not on that wiring. I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not actually sure. And if, I'm, if I've got it wrong and I find out that I've got it wrong, I'll add an annotation to that part of the video. Make sure that you guys are all squared away by the time you build yours. Make sure that the legs are sort of pointing inward. And we're all done. That's it. This was a lot of fun and was really pretty easy. The entire build time on this was about 90 minutes for me and I had to watch the other video and uh, do everything a few times for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or on the 3D print board forums uh, with the Peachy Printer sub forum or on the, uh, the beta forum at the Peachy site. Uh, there will be a lot of questions there too so check all those out or just hit me up on email. Whatever you need to do I'm happy to help you out. Uh, next I'll be doing the dripper so I'll see you then.